So this is our brother's video. We're making um, this part. We uh, started out adding a uh, dovetail to the block of material. And we dovetail everything. There's a couple of reasons why we, <coughs> well, I'm not gonna say we dovetail everything, but we, we tend to dovetail our, uh, our jobs most of the time. And um, what we're going to do uh, sooner or later is add um, an extra vise over here or attach it to the, the side of this current six inch that we can actually put the stock in for dovetailing. So we could actually be doing our dovetail there. So then the dovetail goes from there, gets loaded here, and then flips over. And then a finished part comes out and a raw material piece goes in. Um, right now we're using this dovetailer here. Uh, we have a more aggressive dovetailer, but again, on this, uh, <clears throat> you know, we're just figuring out how to work with our Speedio here. And the, uh, the BT-30 taper, um, it's fun because uh, our, our more aggressive uh, dovetailer has a one-inch shank on it. And so the, uh, the, the one-inch shank, we have to, um, uh, we have to get a, uh, um, uh, basically a milling chuck. Uh, with the weld on uh, sc side screw and and so we don't have one of those uh, we bought a whole bunch of ER32 collets uh, collet chucks and we bought uh, some SKs and some hydraulic uh, holders but we didn't get anything out at the one inch range so so anyway uh, I digress let's go back over to here so we like this um, uh, dovetailing because once you put the part in the dovetail it doesn't come out So, um, you know, the nice thing about this is just how forgiving a dovetail setup is. So here's our part, okay, um, blow off those jaws, okay, blow off that part. So now we can just grab this, drop it in here. And it's not a, this is not a high accuracy job, so it's really not that big of a deal. Um, you know, if it was a super high accuracy job, we would be a lot more careful. I mean, I am not gonna blow out these jaws, right? There are chips in there. It doesn't matter, right? And here's why. So, now this is four inch stock, so I can just clamp it like that. Let's go back out, unzoom, okay, so. It's four inch stock, so we just eyeball center it like that. Didn't mean to do that. Great. It is. Okay, here we are back again. So we just clamp it down. Let's go back out one more. So that's it. Okay, take out the good part. And just give this a whack that way and that way. Which I'm sure not doing anything but hey you know okay so now we're just going to close the doors and let's find a nice perch point and see if we can there we go and yeah there. okay here we go so oh there and go. And go. So I'm going to stop it real fast. And turn off the coolant. And I want to just 
just, I know it's hard to see, but I've got a two inch end mill on a two inch block. And if you can imagine the side forces on that block, with a dovetail, it just doesn't matter. The dovetail just holds on for dear life. 